where we can choose to stay at home and not work and, and put the economy to a, to a standstill. I think that would send a very clear message. Uh, first of all, uh, even the business people who are normally on the side of President Museveni will, will feel the pressure if they are not generating any income. We, 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 we will put, we will feel that kind of, we will feel the impact, and they will, they will all join in, in, in calling for, for, for reforms. Yeah, uh, I feel if we can, we can succeed in staying at home, that would be a wise move. But again, in Uganda, where people uh, are very poor, the majority of people are very poor. That could 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 be very difficult because we have people who don't get what to eat, don't get what to eat if they don't go out to work. The U.S. government is a very powerful uh, government in the world. Mm. There is no doubt that America is the world's most powerful country. And it will continue to be so for decades to come. If it decides, it can, it can, it can change the situation in Uganda. If it puts pressure on President Museveni, the situation can change. The problem is that the government of the U.S. continues to look at Museveni as an ally. They continue to describe him as, 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 as a Democrat. Where is the democracy that is the, uh, in Uganda? There is absolutely no democracy in the country. There is absolutely no good governance. What we have here is tyranny, is oppression, is corruption, is exploitation. And we feel the U.S. has the ability to change the situation. If they put pressure on him the way they are doing on Mr. Bashir in Sudan, the way they are doing on Iran, the way they are doing on North Korea. Museveni is a coward. He cannot withstand mm. America's pressure. If the pressure becomes, uh, becomes much, mm. then certainly he will have to, 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 to make some reforms okay. for the better of the country. So my message to America is that stop supporting the dictator. Condemn the dictator, criticize the dictator, and put a lot of pressure on him until he changes his ways of governance. There is no doubt that uh, in much of Africa, unlike in the West, religion is not a private affair. Uh, it's not at all. It has a lot of influence uh, in the public that we live in. It affects the individual's behavior as well as the, 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 the communities. It shapes community. Uh, so we feel uh, the religious people have an important role uh, as far as uh, influencing the behaviors of their people and as far as influencing the, 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 the behavior of the government. Unfortunately, President Museveni is not allowing these people to express themselves much about politics. He's trying to keep the religious people away from politics. Yet there is no uh, clear distinction between religion and, and in politics. Uh, politics is subject to, 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 to religion, the ethics in the politics, the, the good governance in the politics, all these issues have roots in religion. Mm -hmm. There is no kind of, uh, there is no aspect of good, good governance that is not emphasized by all the major religions in the world. Mm -hmm. eh? uh, fighting corruption, not cheating from others, not oppressing others, uh, not killing innocent people, not torturing others. All these things are, are, are taught by our religions. Mm -hmm. So we feel uh, the religious leaders have an important role to play in, 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 in shaping or in guiding the governance of our country. And for that matter, they should be given the chance to comment about politics and all those issues that, that affect society as far as their, its governance is concerned. Do you think they've been compromised by the cars and money in Disha, President Museveni dishes out to the religious now, leaders? There, 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 there is no doubt about that. <laughs> there is no doubt about that. And that is caused by, by their failure to generate their own incomes. Mm -hmm. eh? the, 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 the kind of poverty that they live in has really compromised them, has made them susceptible and vulnerable to the corruption of President um, Seveni. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 of course, there's no way they, they can have the courage to criticize his brutality when they're driving his cars, okay. when they're eating his money. <laughs> I think that's a challenge that the religious people must overcome. Mm. They should learn to generate their own income, and they should, they should avoid uh, depending on President Museveni, on the government, on the state, for their bread. If their voices 
uh, 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 to be objective, if they are to commit objectively about the governance of this country, and if they are to have a positive role mm. to, to, to the country. So you stated that um, mm. public life mm. and our spiritual well-being mm. in Uganda really are not separable. Mm. They can't be separated. Mm. Why do you think that even if 80% mm. of us profess to be Christians, mm. why do you think we are the most corrupt nation in the world? We have all these unnecessary killed and this killing is going on. Why do you think we have all these ritual sacrifices and stuff like that? Mm. It's because of, of the kind of leadership we have. Uh, the kind of leadership uh, condones corruption. Corrupt officials uh, mm. are promoted mm. uh, uh, rather than prosecuted. Mr. Amamba Mbabazi is named in almost each and every major corruption scandal in this country. But he has recently been promoted from institutional minister to, 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 to prime minister. So in Uganda, the people who steal from others are the smart people. And those who leave leadership positions without accumulating a lot of wealth are considered to be dull, not to be intelligent. So the kind of leadership we have is that which promotes vice and discourages uh, good behavior. So under such a situation, under a situation where, where, where the state presides, presides over, over, over torture, hmm? a state presides over uh, summary executions, what do you expect of the rest of the people? Hmm. Ugandans are emulating President Museveni. The, the kind of culture, the, 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 the kind of operation, the kind of exploitation that is naturally in the country. Is what is, is shaping our country, is what is defining our country, is what is, is defining the rest of our people. We cannot ex expect them to improve when their own leaders uh, are doing bad things. It should be the leaders to set the example for the rest of the people to follow. But if the leaders uh, champion immorality, if they champion corruption, if they champion oppression, I think the general population will follow suit. President Museveni has succeeded in, in, in suppressing all voices of dissent in, 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 in suppressing the media, uh, partly by blackmailing media proprietors. Mm. Once he discovers that such and such a radio has a critical presenter, he does not bother with you. He has nothing to do with you. He doesn't know anything, anything with the reporter. He goes to the, to the proprietor and tells him suck. that if you don't suck so and so, your radio station will be closed. <laughs> That's how he did with the radio one. That's how he did with, with Sapienza, a Catholic radio. CBS. That's how he did with CBS. Okay. Uh, that's how he did with the monitor sometime back. Uh, so President Museveni has really succeeded in doing what? In suppressing the media. So you're saying we Ugandans don't read news now? Uh, the, the kind of news we access here in our, uh, in, in our media is the kind of news that is greatly censored. Okay. Uh, the kind of news that lacks objectivity, that lacks scrutiny, that lacks analysis. Okay. Yeah? The, 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 it's kind of PR stuff for, 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 the, for, the, for the regime in power, for, for, from the government. You can hardly criticize it on anything. Yeah? That's why the campus is coming out to reject that kind of, of intimidation and provide information that is hardly accessible in all other uh, in all other newspapers, in all other registrations, in all other, uh, all other television. And for that matter, we hope the public will see sense in our efforts and will therefore continue supporting us. Okay. Yep. Oh, thank you, man.